Hey what's going on guys, welcome to another video, it's your boy KenX here for another video and today we're gonna create snow material in Blender. We're gonna create a shader that will replicate the snow in Blender. So if you don't know how to create it, this is the perfect tutorial for you. And with no further ado, let's go to Blender. Hey guys, sorry for interrupting the video, but I need to say this to you guys. I have created a Patreon page for everyone who wants to support this channel and to make this channel grow faster and for that you just need to go to the patreon page and just buy one of that package the first package is only five dollars per month and it will be provided to you every blend file of the tutorials i've made on this channel basically you can go there and download every single blend file of every tutorial that i've made on this channel and have it on your pc and use it for every everything that you want to create your projects to add to your models or something like that you know so basically with this first package this tutorial about this snow material it will be provided to you to have already the shader created for you it's easy as that guys and the second package it's super cool too because it will be provided the blend files of the tutorials the projects and the models and the riggings that I've made on this channel. Basically, every single video that you have seen about the time lapse of me creating something, it will be provided to you that blend file in that package, in that second package. All right, guys? And the third package and the most cool one, I think, is literally the, the two uh, package that I have talked about before with more stuff in it. Basically, it will be provided to you all the blend files of the tutorials, the projects, the models, the riggings, environments and everything like that and you will have the opportunity to suggest a video to me and uh, uh, basically if you are looking for how to create something that uh, anyone is saying or uh, explaining very well uh, on YouTube, you can go there and suggest a video or basically if you are creating a project and you don't know how to create something that you you want and you need for that project you can go there and suggest a video for me to uh, explain how to create something that you want it's easy as that and it's the most cool one because i can talk with you guys and you guys can talk with me for everything that you guys want me to explain for you it's super easy and it's super cool for you guys and with that you will be supporting me and this channel with more cool stuff and more tutorials that you will want to see all right guys so that's it and let's go back to the video all right guys we are here in blender in this amazing platform and let's start this tutorial first thing that we're gonna do we just need to split our screen let's go and over here and just split our screen over here we're gonna click one in the numpad to go to the front view and then ctrl alt zero to put our camera in the place that we are seeing basically like that all right we don't need this cube so let's delete it just like that and let's click shift a and add a uv sphere all right i'm gonna click over here to our camera and in view camera to view and let's just bring this more close to our object all right something like that Let's just change this to render view. Right now it will not appear nothing. And let's just give some subdivisions to our UV sphere. By clicking Ctrl 2, we're gonna add two levels of subdivision to our levels viewport and to our render. Easy as that. All right, guys, let's go and shade smooth that. And let's go over here to our world and let's change some stuff. First of all, let's go and click into, in the color and let's add a sky texture you can add whatever you want if you want you can add an hdri or i will use a sky texture f just for the purpose of this tutorial because it's super easy i just need for you guys to see what is going on with our object uh, while we are creating this shader so for that this sky texture will work very well so let's change the sun rotation to minus 430 all right change the ozone to three and uh, let's change here our air to 0 0.3 you can see that nothing is going on to our uh, render and uh, it's all white because uh, basically what is saying here is that our sky texture don't work in eevee so for that we need to go over here to our render engine and change this to cycles 
all right let's go and just select here our light click g and just bring this more close to our object just to, just to have some highlight in this area over here let's change our light to area and let's put the direction uh, into our uv sphere all right now it's everything set up let's go and create our material let's go over here and click in shader editor and let's click into our sphere click new and now we have the simple new material that always will appear it's a principal bsdf and a material output all right so first thing that we're gonna do if you have saw uh, snow basically snow has a lot of displacements you have little displacements and some big displacements too so first of all let's create that big displacement but it's like a soft displacement but very big all right guys and then let's create the other displacement that will be our details to our snow all right first thing let's add a displacement node super easy just like that let's just put this into our displacement just connect it right over here let's click shift a and add a noise texture we're gonna use this noise, te noise texture to create that displacement so for that let's connect the factor to the height just like that and now you can see that something is going on to our sphere but what we are seeing right now is not any displacements it's just bump all right guys so for that we need to go over here to our material properties and let's just scroll down and over here into settings surface bump only let's change this to displacement and bump or just displacement only because here we will just use displacement but if you want you can uh, use displacement and bump it's it will be the same thing all right guys so it is looking pretty good but you can see that we have a lot of displacement it is not looking equal as snow all right so for that let's go and just click ctrl t if you don't have the node wrangler add-on on i don't know what the hell are you doing in blender because everyone is using this add-on is a very useful add-on so if you don't have the the node wrangler on i'm gonna show you how to activate it just go to preference in add-ons go and search node wrangler it will appear over here and just activate it then you can click ctrl t and it will appear a mapping and a texture coordinate let's change this this texture coordinate to object all right let's change it all right and now let's change here the scale to something like one because we don't need a lot of scale in our noise texture you can see that now if i click a ctrl shift in our noise texture you can see that now we don't have a lot of noise going on so we have a simple soft displacement but a big displacement all right hope you understand what i'm saying let's just connect again the principal bsdf let me delete this part over here and let's go and change some stuff first of all we have already created our soft displacement so for that it's all done let's create now the displacement details to create that uh, snow shader material all right so for that let's go and select these these two guys over here and just duplicate it and now i'm gonna plug it over here just to see what is going on and change the scale to 60 let's just change the detail to zero we don't have we don't need detail over here and the roughness to zero okay all right now you can see that uh, a lot of stuff is going on to our object but let's just change some stuff just to create that snow material for that let's just plug in to our vector to our mapping all right and let's go to this displacement over here and let's change this number to something like uh, 0.060 i think this will work very well all right now you can see that we have a lot of detail but not so much displacement in our scene this is looking pretty good so we're gonna just plug this in and you can see that we have a lot of displacement too and that's not what we want we just need a little bit not too much so for that let's change the scale to something like 0.7 it will work very well over here so something like 0.7 and now we need to add these two displacements together so for that let's click shift a and search for mix rgb all right over here a mix rgb let's plug uh, these two displacements to our mix and right now this is mixing the two 
together we don't want that we want the first displacement be added to the second and the second to be added to the first so for that let's change this to add and let's use the factor of one all right and now it, it is looking pretty good so first of all we can now use a transmission or we can use a subsurface for this tutorial we're gonna use a subsurface because it's more useful for this snow but you can use a transmission why i'm saying this because snow has little parts that are see-through basically we, uh, there's some parts in the snow that have a lot of highlights and some others that don't have anything so for that we're gonna change here some stuff first of all let's go to our subsurface and put this to one and you can see right now that it's more like a red snowball and not in the right color this is because the subsurface is already in his normal value the subsurface is more useful to add skin tone to your objects to your models or to your scenes but we here we don't want that skin tone so for that we need to change the scale the subsurface color and the subsurface radius so let's go over here change this to rgb let's go and put 0.4 and in the green 0.5 and in here 0.6 easy as that all right let's go over here to our radius and this will be literally the rgb so red green and blue let's go over here and change the red to 0.4 the same thing that we have already done 0.5 and 0.6 just like that and now we have a perfect shader for our no material but we need to add that simple uh, highlights in our scene for that we need to have a lot of control where we want the highlights or where we don't want it so for that let's add a color ramp let's plug this color ramp to our roughness just like that and let me just click ctrl shift to in this uh, color ramp and let's use this noise texture over here that will be our details so let's use the same factor of this noise texture and you can see that now we have a lot of points going on but you can see that this is not looking pretty good why because here what will work is basically the black will be our highlights and the white will be where there's nothing at all of highlights basically i like that so for that let's just flip this out let's just go and flip this and just bring this to something like that all right this is looking pretty good now we have some highlights and a lot of part that don't have that highlights but we want a little bit of uh, a gradient you know something like a black and a gray all right something like that why because now we have the same things that were white now has a little bit of transmission and a little bit of roughness but not too much all right so now we have this black where uh, there's there is no roughness at all and this is where there is a little bit of roughness but not too much all right and now let's just plug this to our material output and tana, it's easy as that super easy super fast to create and uh, just like that you have a, a really cool snow material all right uh, i hope you understand everything that i said in this tutorial and uh, if you didn't understand you can uh, just use your uh, own velocity go pause the video and go back and go further and you will understand everything that i said and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed i i tried to explain everything that you need to know to create this and to understand it because the mo most useful things in these tutorials is for you to understand everything that i said and i do in this tutorial so i hope you enjoyed i hope you like this video if you like don't forget to give a like and subscribe the channel and i see you in the next video bye guys mm -hmm.